This is the story of Walter Nebuchadnezzar. Doing what he likes best, fighting crime in the streets. You see, Walter's a policeman. Unfortunately, the chief doesn't want Walter on the streets. Captain, get back to your cage, boy. Now! So Walter must fight crime in his own way, in the computer room. That's where he's an expert. Fortunately for me, Walter's advanced knowledge of electronics led him to experiment with what is called a hologram. That's a very fancy word for a three-dimensional picture that, when perfected, can be made to look real, sound real. As a matter of fact, given enough power, it can even be made to feel real. That's kind of what got me into this world. My name is Otto Man. You must be Walter Nebuchadnezzar. How did you know that? It's on the programming you fed into my system. I must say, Walter, you're very good. Very good indeed. I look wonderful. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> you programmed me to be honest. But tell me, why did you call me Otto Man? It means that you're the world's first truly automatic man. You can do anything because... You're not real. Oh, but I am. I'm as real as you are. Just different. And thanks to you, perfect. Nobody's perfect, Auto Man. Well, that's not true, Walter. You've programmed me to observe other people and do whatever they can do as well as they can do it. Jimmy Connors playing tennis. John Travolta dancing. In fact, on a scale of one to ten, think of me as an eleven. I've created a monster. No, what Walter really created was a wonderful force for good. Auto Man. That's me. Thank goodness we caught you in time. In, in time for what? I was just about to catch a plane. Mr. Davis would like you to phone him before you board. Security. If the boss wants me to call, I guess I call. Right this way, Mr. Wells. <laughs> I can't believe this whole thing is for me. <laughs> I mean, this is class. You'll never be the same. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. for you, Jack. What have you got? Uh, I don't know. Just bits and pieces about this rash of kidnappings. Another scientist disappeared last week. Here, look, I want you to just copy down names, numbers, anything you find on any of those scraps. Right. What are we looking for? Some kind of a pattern. I've got the names of companies, countries, people. Some place to go to your connection. And look, you said that this machine could talk to other machines, right? Interface with other computers. Right. All right, I want you to do that. Corporations, cars, flight numbers. Get this machine to talk to other computers that might have any of these names, companies, anything. I mean, if a man has made a flight someplace, then you find out from the airline computer who else was on the flight, who, who paid, paid for, for the, the ticket, ticket right? Uh, who else might have worked for any of the companies listed. In other words, you want every name in this pile cross-referenced with every other. There you go. There you are. You see, cross-referencing. I mean, we didn't even have that word when I got started in this business. Cross-referencing. Well, now, that should scare the hell out of all those crooks out there, right? Sure. Those crooks have computers just as big as your computer, kid, not to mention newer. Special sections. Uh, Walter Nebaker speaking. Uh, he's right here. It's for you. Yeah, Curtis. Jack, I think we got them. 
Another young engineer flying to London for Supertech has been diverted from his boarding gate by two men. When? Just now. He's making a phone call verifying their credentials. And then they're taking him to the other side of the airport to the private jet terminal. It has to be the same MO they used last week. All right, stay put. I'll be right down. I'll be calling in. Uh, I may not have anything for a couple of days. Yeah, Walter, I need a promise. Sure. Don't show anyone in the department anything you come up with, okay? I mean, anyone. You're about the only one who talks to me anyway. Okay. Thanks, Ken. I'm the one who's going to walk out there. I'll be here. I'm armed. Fat chance they see you, they'll start shooting. We both know that. There they are. Let's get to it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this royal treatment. It'll be like this from now on. You're a very important man to our firm. What firm was that? Who are you? Immigration. I don't think I understand. We've, uh, we've never been questioned before. No, sir, we're not going to trouble you now. We're just uh, being hassled about paying closer attention to the private planes going in and out of here. What's your destination, please? London. Can I see some identification on you three? Uh, Mr. Wilson is uh, already late. That's right. I was scheduled to go out on Pan Am until they decided to send me on their own plane. Listen, the man is just trying to do his job. Let's show him our identification, all right? Thank you. Global Guard. And, Mr. Wilson, you're with Supertech, hmm? Yes, sir. I thought you were with Supertech. We contract all their security work. That's why the uh, special treatment for you. You're a very valuable man. Officer, unless you have some specific problem with this departure, I uh, must insist that you allow this plane to take off. Oh, no, no. Everything seems to be in order. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice flight. Good night. Right this way, please, Mr. Wilson. He can connect Wilson to the plane. What are you doing? On the plane, now. Don't look back. Come on. Now you run. Run. Get her now. exists. What the hell is going on? Are you trying to set the whole place on fire? 
No, sir, it was an accident. I did it. Oh, you did it. I knocked over a glass of water into this whatever it is. Uh, the keyboard. Is that what it is? I thought it was a typewriter. What are you doing here? I had to check over these requisitions with Wally. Never mind that. Call my wife. Tell her I have to see the commissioner this evening about these damn kidnappings. And uh, I'll be home when I get there. Make sure the feds pay for this. I don't want to see it appear on one of these cost-sharing accounts. No, sir. Tell the kid off. If I tell him off, then Washington cuts us off. So what? Who needs a room full of machines? We need more men. Half of all the new men that I put on are coming out of funds that I earmarked for that computer program in there. So grin and bear it. I'm uh, sorry I got you in trouble. That's all right. But what I... I can't talk about it right now. You're going to have to, or I won't sleep. Roxanne, I had no business using the police computer for my personal projects. Is that what that was? It was a, a hologram. An electronic simulation in uh, three dimensions. Here, I'll show you. See, you take pictures of someone. This is four people. Well, it, it started off as four. Uh, then I added some more. Now they're all in there together. They're becoming one. What's it going to do for a brain? Whose thoughts is it going to have? Oh, well, I uh, programmed in all kinds of good stuff for super sleuthing, from uh, James Bond to uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> You mind if I sit down? No, not at all. It, uh, might be better that way. You're serious? You're gonna show me your new game? It started off as a game, Auto Man. Now it's, it's real. Here, I'll show you. What happened to Auto Man? Damn. It isn't working? It either isn't getting enough power... Or... Or he isn't ready to come out. Isn't ready? This isn't Broadway, Wally. What's to be ready? It's a game. No, it's a computerized program that, that has all the functions of a real person. If the computer is still assimilating the facts, well, it won't appear unless it's ready. That's the way computers work. Wally, why are you doing this? You think I'm crazy. That's why you won't go out with me. I don't think you're crazy. A little strange sometimes. The way you keep to yourself and all. What choice do I have? The captain won't let anybody talk to me. He doesn't believe in computers. You have to understand, he's an old-fashioned cop. He doesn't trust change. But he's wrong. Lieutenant Curtis trusts me. He just gave me a whole investigation to run. Why? Why did the power dim? It... It takes a lot of power. It draws from the whole building. Wally, you can't be doing things that'll get you suspended. You know the captain's just waiting for an excuse. I know. But I warn you. Why? Maybe Lieutenant Curtis isn't the only one in the department who's on your side. Captain? Yeah. Parking lot personnel reported hearing gunshots. When they arrived on the scene, they found Lieutenant Curtis's gun and blood stains behind his car, which match his type. What was Jack doing prowling around a garage in downtown L.A.? Captain, I told you. I wasn't getting any cooperation from Curtis. He's a hot shot. He wants all the glory, so he doesn't share his evidence. And this is what it got him. You think the kidnappers got him, huh? Well, I don't know too many cops to leave their car and gun behind if everything's okay. Okay. Add Curtis to the list. That makes 11. 12. We just got a call from Supertech Corporation. The top engineer disappeared before he got on his flight to London. Top engineer? What is this? What kind of loonies are behind this?
drink in the freshness of the Alps, Lieutenant. This will be your home for some time. I can get all the snow I want in the Sierras, thank you. There's much more than snow here. People save for a lifetime to come to these mountains. What's it going to cost me? I suppose you could say your freedom. But if you make the right adjustments, you can live a life here that can fulfill anyone's dream. Well, like it or not. Everything's a trade-off. I just want you to know that we'll be interrogating you as soon as you're a little stronger. But then I hope you'll realize that your best interests are our best interests. And if I don't? Well, I suppose the alternative to a good life is a good death. And degenerating from there for a really hard case, we might arrange a very bad death. I must leave this picturesque paradise for a few days, but uh, think about it. We need only know the extent of your penetration into our organization. By that I mean anyone at all to whom you may have given any information about our work. Goodbye. What happened to you, Jack? You've got to help me find out. I've run everything you gave me. Still doesn't mean a thing to me. Come on, auto man. Do something. Where are you? Stop it. It's been three days. You're going to lose your job, your mind, everything. Wally, you're never going to see Jack again. Something terrible has happened, and he is not coming back. You're wrong, Roxanne. And it isn't just Jack. Something has happened to a lot of people. That's what Jack was having me check out the night he disappeared. Then how can wasting your time here possibly help to find Jack? What happened to Jack was in my computer. I just couldn't reach it. Auto Man can change that. I've programmed him to be a, everything I ever dreamed of being as a policeman. When do I get to see him? I don't think he's coming. If he isn't coming, do you think we could go get a cup of coffee and a sandwich? That'd be swell. And I'll even shave. <laughs> Maybe you better turn off your machine. No, 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 that's all right. Uh, Auto Man may decide to show up after he sorts out some of the facts that I've sent him. Yes, she really is something. But we have more important work to do. We must find Walter. Roxanne, you know, the captain thinks I'm a little weird because I try and solve crimes with a, with a computer. But do you find me?
That's better. You see, Roxanne, you just have to be firm. All right, wise guy. I don't like tricks. It's just another trick. It ain't real. Good evening, gentlemen. It talks. Come, Walter. It's time. We have some very evil men to eradicate. She's all yours, okay? All yours. Uh, we gotta go. We'll get out of this place. It's time now, at this very minute. Roxanne, I have to go. Roxanne will be fine. Hurry. We must be back before morning. Roxanne, you heard him. I, I have to go. I'll never forget this evening. Thank you. I'll call you. We now have the necessary facts assimilated to find Jack. Why didn't you say so? I just did. How do we find him? A step-by-step -step process based on the facts you program. They're Jack's facts. I just refined them. Where do we go? Is he alive? We won't know until we're further along. What's the matter? We haven't time to ride in that. How do you know how much time we have? I know my own limitations. The city's power requirements will treble at dawn. You must ride with me. In what? Cursor? Man, do you have a set of wheels? Get in. a 90-degree turn. You programmed me to make 90-degree turns. Yeah, but that was for a game. All games make 90-degree turns. Donkey Kong, Pac-Man. Ah, uh, yes. I know him quite well. Wait a minute. You know who quite well? Pac-Man. We're close friends. Now, Donkey Kong is an animal. Oh. This is a bad dream. Huh, I'm making this up. Well, you did make this up. All of it, remember? Yeah. But this is a lot more real than I'd planned on. Why? Did you imagine yours was the only wavelength in the universe? The only dimension in space? I don't suppose you'd mind signaling next time. Oh, well, it's unnecessary. And as much as nothing can touch us, we cannot impact on anything else. Mine is a world of space and energy, not substance. Then how do you explain that I'm riding around in your car? Well, you can explain it. <laughs> no, I can't. Put your hand on top of mine. My hand's gone. Now, put it back. What happened, Otto? It didn't go through. I can alter the density of my electromagnetic field. Now try the wheel. <laughs> did I do that? We did. I wish you wouldn't do that. Sorry, I keep forgetting. But this is the building. The facts you programmed into my system were looking for a common denominator. This is it. Global Guard. Private security company? Hired by each company involved with an employee disappearance. Hey, mister! Who do you think you are? I'm very sorry, but I'm quite new to this world. Forgive me. Dispatch is Unit 14. I'd like to report seeing it. Want to report seeing a what? I'd like to report seeing it. Never mind. I, I, I'm going to take the rest of the night off. What's the logic in coming here at this time of night? I require more information to begin tracking Jack. Are not these later hours best for breaking and entering? How do you propose to? I can only show you. Come, enter my dimension. You're kidding. I'm not programmed to kid. 
Move into my form. Hey, hey, hey. I I'm you. You can never be me. You're still you. Well, well, then how can I be talking with your body? You're talking through my body. <laughs> the door's locked. How are you going to get inside? The molecular structure of this building is like a sieve to me. Meaning what? You can see through the walls? See through them. I can walk through them. Wow! Why do I feel like it's a little risky breaking into a place that specializes in security? Probably because we're not alone. What? Look. I can see eight life forms seated in the room at the end of this corridor. So can I. Uh-oh, here comes one of them now. Cursor will give us away. No, he won't. Cursor, stop flirting. Cursor! Now you stay with us. We must get there before the meeting breaks up. We may get vital information. Unexpected abduction of police officer Lieutenant Jack Curtis. Otto! Shh! Now, the Interpol agent working with him has managed to escape and has still not been located. But in light of what we now know about Tanya Dubois's relationship with Officer Curtis, it seems obligatory to me that she be marked for priority removal. Any dissenting votes. Find her and remove her in time for our scheduled flight tomorrow night. Yes, sir. If there's no further business, we'll adjourn. Come on, we've got to get out of here. I need all the information I can digest, and we haven't gone through their files. Forget the files. We have more important things to take care of. What's the matter? My power grows weaker. <laughs> now I know I've heard something. What happened? I'm afraid my batteries need charging. Something's going on. Otto, someone's trying the door. Down the hall. The elevator. Oh, shoot! Missed. How could I? He was only ten yards away. The question is, who is he and what's he doing here? Those bullets. How did he miss? He didn't. Cursor? On a sports car. We're never gonna catch it. He can't do any better in traffic than we can. We've all been working too hard. You can make that corner. I can make it. How are we gonna explain this to Mr. Hamilton? Very carefully. Very carefully. Cursor? The girl they were talking about. She called the department. It was on my phone list. I didn't think anything of it. She didn't mention Interpol or Jack. That would be consistent with Lieutenant Curtis secrecy. He was obviously afraid to share his information with the police department for some reason. Yeah, I, I wondered about that. Hey, just 
Hold it down, Abish. It's Nebuchadnezzar. It's from the Aramaic. I don't care if it's from the Holy Grail. <laughs> Well, if he ain't the cutie, um, you thinking of taking a roommate, kid? Uh, well, uh, maybe. Kinda. I don't know. See, normally I'd have to charge you extra, but in his case... Yeah, well, uh, I'll let you know. You do that. Thank you, Moneypenny. I'd like to think of you as my own little octopusy. you do that? Oh, you programmed me to. James Bond, remember? <laughs> well, no matter how you're programmed, we're still gonna have trouble explaining you. Not at all. I won't be around that often. What? Walter, there's never going to be enough power available during the day when everyone else is up and using my sources. Otto, we got hot leads. We gotta work on them. Walter, you can work on them. You're a policeman. I'm a computer room expert. I don't go out in the field. Why not? Well, it just isn't done. Well, it's going to have to be if you're to find out what's become of your friend. I know, Cursor. You're, uh, you're dimming. Right now, this moment, I can feel three million toasters, waffle irons, and television sets turning on. There go the electric razors, the toothbrushes, and heaters. I'm sorry, Walter. Keep me programmed. And I'll do my best to find Tanya Dubois for you. The rest is up to you. I'll be there when the facts warrant my appearance. Oh, God. What have I done? This is Tanya Dubois. This is Walter Nebaker. I work for Lieutenant Jack Curtis. I'm returning your call. Can we meet? When? Tonight, 7.30. Mott and Elizabeth Street. That's Chinatown. You must come alone. No other officer may even know about this rendezvous. Rendezvous? Good name for it. Start up the street. We can't stop in any one place. Why? They are looking for me. Who's looking for you? The people who have Jack. Who are they? I was hoping you could tell me. What's your connection to Jack? And what makes you think I could help? We were working together. He from the Los Angeles end and I from Switzerland. He didn't mention that. What did he mention? A lot of names, dates, companies. He wanted to find a correlation between them. Did you find any? Yes, my friend. But that is my computer found that each of the companies had a tie-in with Global Guard. Global Guard? God, if they are involved. Right. No one's safe. They practically control all the investigations. Why would they do it? When we find Jack, we'll know. Thank you, Walter. You've been a big help. If I can be of any more help. Explain this. What's that, sir? You put out an all points bulletin on a limousine, license number AJA611. Do not apprehend. Notify special sections, officer Nemesh. Uh, Don't fence with me, boy. Because by now you've had time to check out that registration and you know who that car belongs to. I want to know who he is and what this is all about. The car is on a corporate lease, probably some dummy holding company for someone else. So what do you want to check it out for? You like the paint job, the wire wheels, you left your hat in the car, what? It was involved in a kidnapping I happened to witness. Where? When? Chinatown, uh, about two hours ago. I didn't read any reports about a kidnapping in Chinatown. It won't be reported. I was the only witness. 
Nebuchadnezzar, I am not going to wring this out of you one drop of blood at a time. I'm going straight for the jugular. Tell me what you're up to or you're suspended. I'm simply following through on some data given to me by Lieutenant Curtis before he disappeared. Oh, you're simply following through, are you? You're just following through. Who the hell do you think you are? Well, the Lieutenant... You're nothing but a typist, a glorified one at that. You and all your machinery is worth nothing more than a broken down refrigerator. I want everything you got. I want it now. Uh, here, here's the information. I don't want that I backwash. Don't... I want bottom lines. I want to know what it all adds up to. Global Guard, sir. Global Guard? What are you talking about? They're the biggest independent security organization in the world. What have they got to do with anything? They're mixed up in the kidnappings. I don't know how, but if I could... Never should! I don't want what you just said to get out of this room. You understand that? But, sir, don't talk. Just listen. If you make this department the laughing stock of the country, I'm going to kick you and your traveling circus out the window! You got it? Yes, sir. You okay, Kevin? Ah, all this kidnapping is getting under my skin. Everybody's an expert. Everybody wants to get into the act. Well, like who? The chief, the commissioner. Even Nebish says we're not doing the job. He's filing kidnap reports from Chinatown. Chinatown? Don't worry about it. He has delusions of being a real cop. What do you got? <clears throat> Nothing new. We tracked down every possible terrorist lead, both domestic and abroad. Zip. That's a little odd, isn't it? Ordinarily, by this time, we'd have ten different organizations all trying to claim credit. Well, this case is kind of unusual. The companies are cooperating and keeping these disappearances pretty quiet. It's for their own good. It's a little awkward explaining to a prospective employee that the last two men on the job were kidnapped. Well, let's call it a day. We'll get back to work Monday. At least they didn't grab anybody today, right? No, sir. Kramer, this is Mr. Peterson. He'll escort you to the plane. Oh, by the way, I've got another guest who's going to be traveling with you. Oh, from our company? No, but I'm sure that you'll find her company just as agreeable. <laughs> Come on, Otto. How long can it take to see if any of the corporations who are using Global Guard have jets out tonight? Why don't we go out to the airport and find out for ourselves? Oh, I was just talking out loud. Bad habit, kid. Where is he? Gonna take it to him. Please indicate your desired floor and step to the rear of the car. Uh, it's an earthquake. It's kind of like an honor guard for a friend of mine. But get it away! Get it away! I really don't have any control over it. But you uh, might ask him. Hi, right, Smithers. He took your time getting here. Do you have any idea how many flights a day corporations have out of L.A.? What about tonight? Three possibilities. I can narrow it down the rest of the way. They're waiting for me. And if I'm right, a certain limo will be there, too. Parking level one. Have a nice evening and drive carefully. Thank you. What about him? These cars are computer-operated. See if you can shackle him to the railing of the car. Oh, you got it, but uh, what are you going to... Car three, computer control. This is Automan. Would you mind taking this car out of service and running it up and down until further notice? My pleasure, Auto Man. We're in a hurry, Cursor. The flights are all within the next hour. We'll never make it in traffic. No problem. I happen to know the, the traffic, traffic light computer quite, quite well. well. I know. I know. Green, please. Of course, Auto Man.
What is this? Security breach. Don't worry, she won't give us any trouble. I wouldn't look quite as pleased if I were you. We've both been kidnapped. You're quite safe, Mr. Kramer. In fact, you're in for the time of your life. Keep your seatbelt on, or you could get hurt. There. Wish I had Smithers' gun. There's a better way. Shooting at us. Aim right for him. We want him alive. We can't hurt him. Put me down! Naughty boy. Don't hurt me. I may just want to break you in half. Who are you? Where are you from? Don't tell him. I won't. Just let me bend him a little. No, we have work to do. Where is that plane going? I don't know. Ah, ah, Switzerland, but I don't know where. Perhaps if you contact the tower. Me? They won't listen to me. I wasn't talking to you, Wally. They have no way of stopping an international flight on my say-so. I have no proof of anything. Then we've only one choice. Uh, uh. Cursor, we must take flight, Cursor. <laughs> Thank you very much, Walter. I don't feel so good. Oh, you will. Climb in. How does he climb in, Otto? I'll show you. <sighs> very nice. If you'll just buckle in back there, fella. Who are you? What's going on here? You just be good. You won't get hurt. I think I'd better drive, Walter. There's no immediate danger to you. I think you're right. And I could use a little rest. That guy's heavy. I'm dead, and I'm being punished. Hang on, Wally. You'll be pulling a few Gs. I just hope you don't fly like you drive. You do. Preliminaries are not necessary in an energized vehicle. <sighs> okay. What's the plan? We're here, and uh, they're there. We simply follow them to their destination. I know your energy field is able to protect me against bodily harm, and <laughs> I'm grateful for that. But what do we do if we land in the middle of a gang of terrorists? I have no way of attacking them or freeing Jack. I'm not even armed. That's something we'll have to prepare. Oh, good. I'm glad this is well thought out. Populous area. That's bad. That's good. It should be easy to find their stronghold. No, that's bad. They don't appear to have a very large power supply. Otto, I don't like the sound of that. As a matter of fact, I don't like the look of it. You aren't dimming on me. I don't know how to tell you this, but until it grows dark and I can draw on the entire power supply of the area... Otto, no. I'm afraid I'm going to have to be leaving you. Otto, you can't bring me here to these mountains with all these criminals and just leave me here naked? <laughs> 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 I'll give you more of the same. No, 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 no. Where's the other guy? Where I can call him when I need him. On your feet. I can get up by myself, thank you. Move it. Where? Hey, you know where. March.
I don't get it. What is all this? A prison, if I were to judge by the guards and fortifications. Does this look like a prison? Can we leave? Where would you go? This is about all there is in this part of the Alps. Please, what am I doing here? Exactly what you did back home. Done. Lord, they told me you were coming. I hoped against hope it was Marty, wrong. for God's sake, you're alive. Joanne, how is she? She's worried, Marty. She's damn worried we'd all be giving you up. Come, Mr. Boaz, we have a debriefing session scheduled for you. But first... What is all this, Marty? What, what's going on? Just like I said, we're working the same as we always did. Not quite the same. It's simple. They give us everything we could want, and in return, we do our jobs. I don't exactly say everything. We're prisoners here. to see us. Oh, yeah? Jack! Tanya? Oh, you're lying! I wish I could say I was glad to see you. Our last hope. I'll leave you to get reacquainted. Don't really expect us to talk for your guard. Am I that naive? No. Her session is scheduled one hour from now. How long it lasts will depend on Miss Du Bois and her answers. What are you going to do about that gate up ahead, huh? Okay. How do we get around that? <laughs> we don't. The guards are all armed with submachine guns. Nice. Do they know you? Well, of course they know me, but... Okay. okay, for the moment, I want you to forget all the superhuman powers you've seen me possess. Look, those guys are just as soon shoot me as anybody else. I mean, they are ruthless. Hey, you've seen me in action. What am I? A squad of Girl Scouts? It's time to choose up sides. You'll see that I get a break if I help you. You can depend on it. Okay, uh... You walk ahead of me, you know, like you're my prisoner, keep your arms up in the air, just stuff right. like that. Just remember, no funny business. I could have dropped you out of that fancy plane of mine at 30,000 feet instead of a few yards. I won't forget what happened to me last night. Not Look around, do you see all these people here? Each one of them made the mistake of becoming invaluable to his or her respective company, at which point a price was put on their heads to protect them. By whom? By the same companies they were working for before they were kidnapped. So the minute they threaten to leave to go to work for someone else, Global God is brought in. That's right. And the men no longer shirk their responsibilities. They sit here, they work, and they are treated to the finest luxuries that life can afford. Swimming, skiing, all the pretty ladies. I mean, what more can a man want? You're not telling me they don't want to leave. No hard. A man accepts bondage as a price for anything. They try to buy their way out, swim, ski their way out. There's no place to go. Prisoners in a winter wonderland. What about us? Well, our hosts will ask you everything you knew about them before you were captured. You tell them the truth. If our stories don't match, we're probably both dead. Mr. Boaz, we're ready for you. Tanya, I'm sorry you got into this mess. I'll be right, you see. Mr. Collins, welcome back. How did you miss the car? Uh, th this one tried to make a run for it a few hundred yards up the road, and they, uh, they dropped me off to get him, you know? Huh. I'm moving. This is the main gate. Let the chief of security that Mr. Collins found escaping. Okay, what next? Where's your main power supply? In the far corner of the compound. Why? 
We, uh, need to gain control of it. Well, it's guarded, but I guess that won't bother you, right, huh? Like I said, I use my personal weapons of death and destruction very sparingly. How do we get to the generator without being observed? Yeah, it's gonna be tough in broad daylight. Okay, where can we hide until it gets dark? That may not be necessary. We better destroy them before they destroy us. There's plenty of time. Peterson, don't he'll kill us all! He's unarmed. Where in heaven's name did you drop in from, Collins? Uh... It's okay. Tell him. A plane. Well, sort of. What plane? No plane was cleared for landing. Where is it? Who was flying it? This man? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, well, uh... This wind is biting into me, and apparently into your brains as well. I want to know exactly who this is and how you both got here. This is a serious breach of security. Take him. Come on. What is the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. When are you going to do something? Patience. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Guard, please, please help me. I'm willing to do anything that I... What's going on here? What's the matter with that guy? He refused to work. At what? At whatever he did before he was kidnapped. Except Deary does it for free or else he ends up like these guys. What happens to them? Mm, they're starved. Or worse, you know, as an example to the others. That can't be going on. This is the 20th century. There are laws. <laughs> Not for these people. They're all presumed dead. Or else soon will be, right? You might bear that in mind when you're answering questions. You too will be given the chance to work, or else become an example to the others. Boy, are you in trouble. Then Auto Man, well, actually the cursor, turned Auto Car into Auto Plane. What is this ridiculous right dribble? I told you to use truth drugs. We did use truth drugs, sir, and this is what we got. Enough. This ridiculous story of his is so ingrained in him that it must be the work of some of his friends at Interpol. I'll send you back to Lieutenant Curtis and Miss Dubois. I suggest you talk it over and agree to cooperate. Listen to this. I'll get the truth out of you before the night's over, Nebish. Nebuchadnezzar. Remove him. It was all the truth. Get rid of him, too. Are you trying to commit suicide? Well, that might be the best way out, but uh, I think I'll settle for getting drunk instead. I suppose even Devil's Island would look beautiful by moonlight. There's one hope, Jack. There's the young man you told me about. I'm almost certain he saw them kidnap me. Young man, I... What do you mean, Wally? That's the one. He's certain to have told someone. And he knows the connection between the kidnappers and Global Guard. Darling, I'm afraid Wally is not exactly the sort of person you put all your hopes in. Oh, he struck me as very capable. Jack! Wally? What the hell are you doing here? He's even more capable than I thought. And Tanya, this is great. Now we can move. Move? Move? Walter, we're prisoners. Only temporarily. We, we've got to find a, a computer bank. Computer bank? There must be plenty of those with all the engineers they've got working here. What do you want with a computer? I need to feed a little data into my information bank back home. How can you do that? A telephone modem. Is he delirious? No, no, not at all. We just may have to wait a short while for some help. Help here? Who's going to help us here? Well, unless I'm very much mistaken, we have at least one believer. Jack. Nebish. Close enough. Oh, yeah. You're the guy who said... Hey, hey, Jack, hey. Easy, easy. Th this is our help. 
Well, listen, I've done my part. Let's get the big guy and get out of here. First, you've got to get us to a computer room. Computer room? They're not in use at this hour. Looks good. This is really sophisticated stuff. All I've got to do is push this button and we're ready to make the connection. Walter, do you mind telling me what you're doing? Well, I don't want to run against guns. I'm sending for help by dialing my home phone number. Phone number? I don't understand. Computers can talk to each other. I'm reaching out for mine. Hey, don't worry about it. The kid's good. I've seen him work. Now what? Now we wait. That won't be necessary. I needed to know your most immediate source of rescue. Since you were foolish enough to walk in here so arrogantly, uh, I... I wouldn't get too cocky if I were you, Mr. Hamilton. Uh, this guy's got help like nothing you've ever seen. His help is apparently a computer 6,000 miles away, which you may be interested in knowing is being dismantled as we speak. It's too late. This kid is good. He's telling the truth. So in the interest of not letting anyone get hurt... I give the orders here, Mr. Nevich. A nice midnight execution is infinitely preferable to the noisy daylight variety which might unnerve our guests, don't you think? Kindly march. Walter, what do you think you're accomplishing by marching in here without letting anybody know what you're up to? You left us no way out. Easy, Tanya. We didn't do so hard either. Helen, you don't worry. I've seen him work. The kid is good. Shut down all the compound lights. I don't want any witnesses to what must be done. It's now or never. When I say go, we jump him. Don't wait. Jack, are you all right? There's no need to worry, Mr. Boise. You're not going to live long enough to feel any pain. Good, Walter. Stay back, whatever you are, or she dies. Oh, and just when we were doing so good. I can't get to you, Otto. You'll have to get to me. I warned you. I warned him, not me. Walter, where did you go? Oh, don't worry, Tanya. I'm right here. Take him! Cursor? Come back here, Howard. This is not real, it's an illusion. Very good, Mr. Hamilton. But what is real? What is illusion? Please send fire up the Jeep and bring it here. Which Jeep? Two of them get mileage you wouldn't believe. We must beat them to the airport. Say no more. Careful, Otto. 
If we get too close, they may hurt Tanya. Well, there's only one road to the airport. We've got to find a way to make them think that they're getting away clean, so they'll leave her behind without hurting her. Then we have to get to the airport ahead of them. Uh, well, like you said, there's only one road. You're right. Cursor? Oh, no. Hang on. You think it's necessary to warn me? I hate to think what's coming. We should get to the airport well ahead of them. I haven't a doubt in my mind. What do you think we should do to make them feel like they've successfully escaped? I was thinking about that. Can Cursor duplicate any kind of vehicle? Their own airplane, for instance? Kidnapped by their own hand. You have a poetic mind, Walter. I like that. Of course. I programmed you. You make the perfect police partner. We think alike. Now let's get to work. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. This is where we part company, my dear. We will find you. I think not. A million stashed away in Swiss accounts. A little plastic surgery, a few bribes in the right places, and life will be splendid for the rest of my life. Sit down and relax. I can't. Then go and tell the crew to turn up the heat. It's strangely cold in here for some reason. They don't answer. That's odd. They've never failed to respond to my page before. Sun's coming up, Walter. I can feel the generator beginning to ebb. I understand. The real corporate jet there should be adequate to begin an exodus. Tanya and Interpol should be able to do the remaining cleanup work. Thank you, Otto. Thank you, Walter. Cursor? Shall we? Walter, please. You can't tell me what's going on here. I can't. But... It's top secret. Please, Tanya, don't tell anybody what you saw. Fifty men on a task force and Lieutenant Curtis saves the day. My own Lieutenant Curtis. Welcome back, Jack. We're proud of you. Ah. Here's to Jack. Here's to you. Thank you, everybody. But I gotta be straight with you. Now, most yeah. of the credit for this bus goes to you, Lieutenant. Oh, uh, I know, I know. Tanya Dubois was a big help. But even Interpol couldn't do any better than the good old LAPD. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. right. That's right. because right. most of the officers in the LAPD pulled their own weight, Nebuchadnezzar. Not like some adding machine, oh, excuse me, I mean computer jockeys that I know. 
All right, let's get back to work. We got a city full of cases waiting to be solved. Don't let me get to you, Wally. You just keep plugging instead of playing those silly computer games, and you're sure to prove the captain wrong. Walter, why did you do that? Why did you do that? I've got a report to make. I don't know how you got there. I don't know how you found me. I don't know what happened to Collins. What happened? It's better this way, sir. Walter. Yes, Lieutenant. I have a couple of small gaps in my report. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir. I doubt that I can explain it. I doubt it very much. Wholehearted holographic heroes back on Bravo next Tuesday at the same time of 6.30. Commander Koenig must prepare for war next, but pray for peace when the moon base passes too close to a particularly nasty, aggressive little planet with a severe attitude problem in Space 1999. Only better. A million gigabytes of law enforcement with all the right bits. And hardware to match. A computer generated policeman who's not always PC while others surf the net. This is it. I warned you. Warned him, not me. He nets the crooks. Automan, Tuesdays at 6.30 on Bravo.